Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Icovac laser level with tripod. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. So let's get this open. So here we have the manual. I'm guessing that's the laser level. And this would be the tripod. Let's take a quick look at the manual. So there's a manual for the laser level and a manual for the tripod. Let's look at the tripod one first. It should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, it looks straightforward. So if you've used a tripod before, this is going to be very similar. But here we have the laser level manual. So I'm not going to cover everything. You're going to want to read through this on your own. So this has a horizontal and vertical laser. They project 360. This has an on-off switch. On the bottom, we have a quarter 20 thread mount. It says the indicator light on the H button reflects the battery level. When the battery is full, the indicator is green. When it's low, the light is red and turns off quickly. This also has a remote control for horizontal and vertical. It uses a 23A battery and it comes with that battery. The laser level itself has a rechargeable battery that recharges with USB. Here's the package list. This talks about how to use it. You slide it to the on position and that turns on self leveling mode. So this will self level if it's within three degrees of level. So you can press the H and V buttons to turn the horizontal or vertical lasers on and off. And then you can slide the switch to off to turn the laser off. This also has a manual mode. So you want to keep the switch off and you press and hold the V button for three seconds. The machine beeps and switches to manual mode. So when it's in manual mode, it doesn't self level. So in that case, if you wanted to project a diagonal line on a wall, you could use the manual mode. So to turn it off, you press and hold the V button for three seconds, or you can turn the slide switch on to turn on self leveling mode. This also has a pulse mode. So you slide the switch to on and press and hold the H button for three seconds. It says in pulse mode, the laser level can work with detectors not included for a longer working distance and the number of laser beams can be changed by pressing the H or V buttons. This also has a flash mode. You press and hold the brightness button for three seconds and it has the brightness adjustment. So that's the brightness button. Here we have maintenance, warranty. Okay, so let's pull the tripod out. So here we can tilt, we can loosen this and pan. We can also loosen this and tilt it this way. And we can pull this lever to pull the mounting plate off. As I said, if you've used a tripod, it's pretty straightforward. And if you have not used a tripod, it's still very, very straightforward. Now let's get the laser level out. So it has this very nicely padded case. Here we have the battery. It's got a little opening on it for a USB-C charging. Let's go ahead and start that. So it comes with a cable. It looks like a long cable. There's an indicator light here. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it is charging and it's charging at 1.16 amps. And that can vary depending on state of charge of the battery. Then we have the remote it has that 23A battery in it. And here's the laser level itself. So you can see we have the two levels, the horizontal and vertical. They have little windows on the four sides. So this will spin around and project the laser in 360. Here are the buttons. They're tactile buttons, and this is where the battery will slot on. Down here, we have the on off switch. So when we switch that off, that's gonna unlock the two heads. And when it's off, it's going to lock the two heads. So let's go ahead and try this on my bench here, and then we'll go set it up fully. So I'll slide the battery in. Now I want to make sure this isn't projecting towards my eyes. So I'll turn it on, and here we can see the laser. So I'll hold a piece of paper up here. You can see the laser line. Now let me tilt this a little bit. It'll start beeping if I get past three degrees, but you can see this will move around a little bit, then it will settle out and you'll have your level line. So we have the horizontal here, and then let's see this direction. We have the vertical. Actually, it doesn't look like the vertical's on, so let's turn it on. And there we have the vertical. So I can press the horizontal and vertical button to turn on the two different lasers. We also have that brightness button. So we have four levels of brightness. So let's turn this off. We'll hold down the V button. And here we have it in the locked mode. So now if I tilt it, it's actually going to tilt the laser. We can also control it with the remote. So I'll turn it back on. So we just have horizontal, I'll press the V and here we have the vertical laser. So if you're placing cabinets or something, you could have this in your pocket. You could turn the laser on. You could mark the wall with a pencil or something, and then you can turn the laser off and place your cabinet. And then you go to the next cabinet, you can turn it back on. That's a really nice feature. 
I'm going to go get this set up so we can actually check out the 360 degree projection of this laser. Okay, so I'm out here in my garage and I have the tripod set up. So it's pretty straightforward. You just pull the levers out and extend the legs. This does have a hook on here so you can hang a bag or something, which will give it a little bit of weight. Now this isn't going to hold a tremendous amount of weight, but it'll give you a little bit more stability. We also have a carry handle here. Then we can loosen this up and we can crank this up further. And we have this knob for pan and this for tilt. So we want to get this near level and there is a bubble level on here. It's kind of hard to see, but I will angle that towards level, tighten everything down. Actually, I'll just tighten the tilt down. This one can, let's do it like this. Okay. I was going to measure the tripod, but I'm actually just going to measure the level line of the wall because that will be more useful to people. But this is a full size tripod. So I'll turn this on with the switch. And we have a laser line projected around the wall. So you can see that back here. Now I have all of my lights on and the laser is very visible. So we can see it here. Oops, I just tapped it and it beeped. So you can see here when I tapped it, it waved and then it found level. So we can adjust the brightness. So I'll click that down. That's the second brightest, third brightest, and this is the dimmest mode. And that is visible on the wall right now. So I'm going to shut the lights off for the rest of the test, but it still won't be dark in here because we do have these big windows off to the left. Actually, the overhead light is going to trigger on and off. So it's still bright in here. So I'll pan around so we can see the laser in 360. We can see it on the garage doors here. We can see it on my kayak. So you can see it goes all the way around the room. The vertical laser is currently off, so I can press V on the remote to turn that on. And here we have the vertical laser. Let's go look at the laser up close now. So here we're probably around 10 foot away, and we can see the cross there. So again, I can press the remote and turn these on or off. Let's measure the height of that. So that's around 57 and 5 eighths. Now this floor may not be level. If I went somewhere else and measured it, I could easily get a different measurement. But that gives you a general idea of how high the laser is off the ground. So that's with the tripod fully deployed. You can also lower the legs so you could have this at a lower level. I'm going to crank it up to its max height. Okay, so I have it all the way up. Let's turn it on. Let's see where we're at there. So that's just over 68 and a half inches. So if we look at the window that laser is projecting from, you can see there's little braces that hold the top on. Let me show what that looks like against the wall. So I'll turn the laser off because it's going to pass past my eyes. Turn it back on. So I'll rotate this laser around. And just to the right of that patch of light from the window, you can see the gap on the wall. And roughly 10 feet away, that's about five inches. So there are going to be four of those gaps in here for each of those supports. But it shouldn't be an issue. It's really easy to bridge those lines with a ruler or something, or you could always rotate the laser. So let's try some of these modes out. We're in the self-leveling mode. I'll hold down the H. And now we're in the pulse mode. So the line is dimmer, but if you have a laser measuring device, it is compatible with this. And this will also project further. We also have the flash mode, so I'm going to hold down the dimness button. And now the light is flickering. So I'm going to turn off the self-leveling mode. I'll hold down the V button. And now we're in the locked mode. So we can see the laser against the wall. I'm going to rotate this. And I'll tilt it down. So if we had a stair rail or something, you can use the locked mode and you can project the laser on a wall at an angle and use it as a reference. This could also be good if you're doing some decorating, maybe you're painting lines on a wall at an angle, you can set that laser up and you can run your masking tape along that line. So that's the Ikovuk 360 laser level. This thing is super versatile. If you're hanging cabinets, putting pictures up, maybe you're doing electrical wiring and you have outlets or switches that you all want to be at the same level all around the room, this can really come in handy. This was super easy to use. Once you mount it to the tripod, you just get it somewhat level, you turn it on and it projects your lasers. 
and then it has the buttons on top to turn on the horizontal vertical or you can use the remote. I like that this has this detachable rechargeable battery. So if you're working on a project and your battery dies, you can just pull the battery off, go charge it, and then bring it back to your work site and plug it in and you don't have to disrupt your laser if you have it set up. So with the tripod here, you can raise this up to the exact level you need your laser line. If for some reason you're not able to do that, you can also measure from the laser line above or below. And then with the vertical laser line, you could use it to make sure doors and windows are plumb or maybe mark a stud or something. So when this is projecting on the wall, you can move it back and forth with the tripod to line it up perfectly with a stud or door or something like that. So if you're looking for a super versatile laser level, I think this is a great option. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.